Oh, control your mind, control your life. Think different theory, baby. That's what we do. Hey, 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 what is up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Think Different Theory. My name is Josh Forty, and um, we're doing this one in the middle of the afternoon here today. Uh, and if you're listening on audio, it is Wednesday. If you're listening on when we're actually streaming this, it's on Tuesday. I'm doing it a little bit early because my head is in the middle of launch mode right now. We are in the middle. Uh, my team and I were in the middle of a very, very big launch. We're actually going to try to do um, a lot more than $100,000 on this launch. It's going to try to be closer to more of like uh, between a quarter and a half a million dollar launch in the cor- over the course of a week, uh, which is super cool. And um, so my head has been really, really in this. We've been working with Facebook ad teams and contractors and kind of putting everything together. And so since my head is here right now, I thought, you know what? Part of what I'm trying to do on Think Different Theory, part of what I'm trying to do with these, these like shorter 30-minute episodes that you guys have been asking for is documenting the journey of what it is that I'm learning, what it is that's working, what it is that's not working so that you guys can go in through and learn from that. So this episode is much more for my my entrepreneurs out there, my marketers out there, especially those people that are, you know, in the ClickFunnels world, people that have been following me for a while and and kind of understand my background and what I'm doing because like like I said, like uh, guys, like I'm a marketer and and uh, I'm an entrepreneur and I'm I'm someone that uh very much is kind of in that space. And so that's what uh, that's what this is, is kind of to, to share with you what I'm learning along the way of it. And, um, oh, is this me? Am I? Okay, no, we're live. Okay, for some reason, sorry, I thought I, I was I was on the, uh, there we are. I was, for some reason, I thought I was on the wrong page there. So anyway, so is, it, uh, this is towards, towards my entrepreneur friends and people out there that want to learn uh, kind of about this. So, we're in this mode right now. And as I've sat down and I've really started to study and I've learned, this is not the first time that I've done a launch. I've done several launches now. Um, I, I myself have done a $100,000 launch uh, uh, for myself. Actually, we did about $150,000 over the course of nine days. Um, I've done this for several clients of mine. We've done six-figure launches for Cashflow Tactics. We've done six-figure launches for Catherine Jones. Um, we've done high five-figure launches for people like the Axe Brothers and their yoga studios. So this is not just me like kind of just throwing some random stuff out there and being like, oh, this is, you know, speculation. Like, no, this is like actually based in cold, hard data and, uh, uh, and what we're seeing that is working. And so I want to, I want to extract this from my, my head, my brain, kind of where I'm at, document this out so that hopefully for those of you that are out there, that are trying to build a funnel that are trying to figure out how do I launch, right? Maybe you've got a product that's, you know, $500 or a thousand dollars, or maybe you've got a high ticket product, like whatever it is, understanding that there's actually there's one core secret and then there's like three secrets that I'm gonna gonna be kind of unveiling for, to you on this that I'm noticing that works and they all kind of flow congruently together. So if you're listening on the live stream, feel free to comment hashtag live down below. Let me know where it is you're tuning in from. Hit that like button, hit the love button. If you're listening on the podcast on audio, make sure to hit me up on Instagram. Uh, shoot me a DM with any of your questions. Let me know that you watched. Would uh, love to hear your feedback on this and hopefully uh, hopefully it allows uh, you guys a little bit more insights on uh, what I'm doing and hopefully this provides uh, a lot of value here. Okay, so Basically, here, here's, here's the thing, guys. When you are um, doing any form of launch, whenever you're building a funnel, whenever you are um, you know, going to launch a product out into uh, the universe, if you will, out, out onto the interwebs and to try to bring a launch in, one of the things that I've noticed and one of the things that I think is incredibly important to understand is that you are not like... Yes, there's the product and yes, there's the training and yes, there's, you know, all these different, you know, pieces to it. You know, there's the copy on the funnel pages and the emails and the ads and there's all the promotion that goes into it. But what we really need to understand and what I've noticed is that what we're really doing in a launch is we are controlling energy and focus. Okay. Now hear me out. I'm going to, I'm going to expound on this. I'm going to kind of build off of this a little bit more here. Okay. When you are, and I'm keep getting all these texts here from people uh, here, let me put that on do not disturb. Here we go. So like, you've got to think about these things. Like when you're doing a launch, you've got to always think from your customer's perspective, okay? So right now, your customer is, is on a journey and they are on a path in their life that they're going down, right? So they're like, let's say I was targeting and I'm just going to say, this is not who we're targeting in my current launch, but this is who I targeted in my last launch. I'm going to use myself as an example here. Okay. So I was targeting entrepreneurs, online entrepreneurs that had a product 
And what they were trying to do with that product is they were trying to take that product, launch it out into the universe, and they were trying to um, get more followers, more fans, uh, more, you know, more, more customers into their world, right? Grow their Facebook group, grow their podcast, grow their email list, and profitably launch a product out into the world, right? So what I'm doing is I'm sitting here and I'm going, okay, my customer right now is sitting at their desk, just like I am, and they're focused on something. And they're sitting there and their focus and attention is probably watching Russell Brunson videos and different YouTube videos and doing client work and sending out emails daily. And so I gotta think about, okay, where is their time? Where's their focus? Where's their energy currently? Because my job on a launch, okay, when I'm launching something, if I wanna make big dollars, if I wanna make like $100,000, $200,000 in a launch, I've gotta get enough people's focus, enough people's energy to stop focusing on what they're doing right now and shift their attention and energy over to me. Because I can get a lot of people registered. I can get a lot of people to show up to my launch. But if I don't have their attention, if I don't have their focus, they're gonna be disconnected from it. Like it's one thing to get somebody to opt in. It's one thing to you know grab, be like, hey, do you wanna learn this? And they're like, yeah, here's my email or whatever. It's another thing for me to get their, their energy, their focus, their attention on what it is that I'm trying to do, right? And so once I started to understand, okay, my job as a marketer, my job as someone who's, who's going to sell something to these people, right? My job is to control their focus and their energy. And really what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create an energy flow. I'm trying to create momentum through this launch so that they cannot look away, right? We've I'm sure we've all been, you've all sat on some webinar or you've been to a launch. Maybe it's your own that you've tried to do. And like, maybe you got a hundred people registered. Maybe there was a lot of people registered, but it didn't feel that way, right? It just felt very, like it fell flat. Like it was very uninteresting. Like you weren't, like stuff wasn't connecting. There was no emotional connection there. Or you signed up for something and you didn't show up. Yes or no? How many of you ever have signed up for a training and never showed up to it? Yes or no? Right? Yeah, uh, comment down below. Let me know. And you know, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram. Okay, I know I have, right? You sign up for a training. Maybe you even purchase a training, right? And then you never show up for it. Why? Because the person that is putting on that training never created momentum. They never shifted the energy and created this energy flow that once you stepped into their world, you couldn't stop looking, right? And so once I understood this, I was like, okay, there's more to marketing than the messaging. There's more to marketing. Now, I'm not saying the messaging is not important. We're going to get to that here in just a second, right? But you can have the best market messaging in the world. You can have the best Facebook ads in the world, right? You can have, but all of those pieces, but if you don't create that, that momentum, that flow, that energy to get people to want to show up, and then once they're there, hold their attention, get them engaged, keep them engaged, you're gonna just going to have a, a training or a webinar or you know, a challenge, whatever it is that you're doing, a launch that just ultimately flops. Does that make sense? You guys with me on that one? Okay, so... That's the first thing is that we have to understand that as marketers, when we are doing a launch, if you want to make a hundred thousand bucks in a week on a launch, if you want people to pull out their wallets and just throw money at you, the first thing you need to understand is that you are controlling energy. And so everything that I'm doing as I'm planning a launch, I'm like, how do I, how do I create noise and how do I control that energy? What podcasts can I get on to create hype, to create, you know, uh, to, to get people's attention so that they want to show up to my, you know, to, to my training. Make sense? Okay. So that's the first thing. The second thing now is I go, okay, big picture overview. If I'm going to create energy, if I'm going to create noise, what, like, what am I sending them to, right? And here's the thing. Um, I was listening to uh, a, a, a clip by Russell Brunson one time. If you don't know who Russell Brunson is, he's probably the biggest and most successful internet marketer of, of all time. Certainly one of the top most successful internet marketers of all time. He's a co-founder of ClickFunnels. He's a friend of mine. And I was listening to him uh, one time. Um, on stage, he's got this little, like, it's like a little four to five minute YouTube clip, right? And he was like, I interviewed uh, Tim Ferriss. Uh, Tim Ferriss, the, the author of the four hour work week. Or, I mean, yeah, the four hour work week, you know, he's made hundreds of millions of dollars as well online. And uh, he's like, Tim said that, you know, somebody asked him one time uh, what it would be like if somebody followed, followed him around with a camera for his daily routine. They wanted to see what his daily routine was like. And Tim Ferriss said, he's like, if you were to go and follow me around on my daily routine, it'd actually be kind of boring right? Because basically what I do is I wake up in the morning and I go and I, you know, drink some coffee and I read a book and then I walk around and then I read some more and then I like think and I study and then I read some more and I do that for like two or three or four weeks. And that's basically all I do. 
And he's like, the reason that I do that is because what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out what is the one single thing that I need to get somebody to believe that if they believe that one thing, right, that they will, ha- they by default, knocks over all their false beliefs and they will buy, they will give me money, okay? And so I started thinking about this because Russell's like, okay, Russell calls this the big domino statement, all right? So it's like, what's the number one thing that I gotta get people to believe? If they believe this one thing, they will hands down give me money. So for Russell, that's, hey, if I can make entrepreneurs believe that funnels are the key to 10Xing their business and that's only attainable through click funnels, then all their objections become irrelevant. They will buy click funnels. They will give Russell money. That's like his big domino statement. That's the one thing that he's got to get him to believe. He's got to get him to believe that funnels are the key to growing your business and that's only attainable through click funnels, right? And so I started thinking about this. I was like, okay, in a launch, whenever we're doing a funnel, whenever I'm trying to go through and, and, and get somebody to take an action, I've got to figure out what's the single thing that I've got to get them to believe. Not what's the two things or the three things or the four things. It's like, okay, if their desired outcome is X, what's the number one thing that I got to get them to believe about this? And so when I'm going and I'm creating energy and I'm controlling energy around what it is that I'm doing, I'm saying, okay, how do I go and how do I create energy? How do I create noise? How do I create momentum? Shift people's focus and get them focused on this outcome through my solution, right? So for example, um, when I went b- back when I was doing uh, my launch, I was selling to entrepreneurs, right? The number one thing that I was trying to get them to believe was that the key for them to grow a wildly profitable audience of engaged, loyal customers that was absolutely ready to buy from them was through launching a Facebook group or podcast, right? Well, I, mine was specifically, I'm just gonna simpl- simplify it down and say launching a Facebook group, right? So if I could get them to believe that and that the only way for them to launch a Facebook group successfully was through my audience launch system, then all objections become irrelevant, right? So I had like a couple thousand people, I think I think we had like between 1,500 and 2,000 people register for our event made $150,000 on the back end. Why? Because I created all this momentum and I was like, hey, do you want to, what's the one thing I gotta get them to believe? Hey, do you want to, this one big obje- or uh, outcome over here? Do you want to get a, a wildly profitable audience of engaged loyal customers that are ready to buy from you? Awesome, then believe this one thing, do this thing. And as soon as they believed that, then they would move forward and buy. And so I'm going through and I'm like, okay, so I've got to go and I'm sitting here and I'm like, I'm going to go and I've got to create momentum. I've got to create energy. I've got to create, I've got to shift focus out of where my customer is currently at onto what I'm trying to do. And I've got to get them to believe that one very specific thing. Okay. So secret number one, or the first part of this is number one, you have to understand that as a marketer, when you are doing a launch, when you're trying to, you know, make six figures in a, in a week, right? You've got to think I am controlling energy. I am controlling focus. That is what I'm trying to do right? It's not, are they going to click on my ad? Or, oh man, is my email going to get open? It's no. If they click on that email, are they going to be further? Like, are you further controlling the energy, right? Take step back, take a 30,000 foot overview and go like, okay, like, or is everything congruent? Do I make it to where they can't look away? Do I make this so irresistible to them to where they're like, I got to be here, right? Because it's going to help me get to where I want to go. And then once I control the energy there, then I go so say, cool, what is it that I'm trying to get them to focus on? That is the one thing that I got to get them to believe. So you control focus and you control energy. And then you could go and you say, okay, I'm going to show you how to do this one single thing, not 10 things, this one single thing. So for me, it's like, I'm going to teach you how to build a wildly profitable audience of engaged, loyal customers that are immediately ready to buy from you. For Cashflow Tactics, it was like, we're going to show you how to achieve financial freedom in 10 years or less, right? For Catherine Jones, it was, I'm going to show you how to build a seven figure movement of raving fans, right? For the Axe Brothers, it was going to, I forget what their number one thing was. It was like something like, I'm going to show you how to live a fulfilled life and like, relieve stress and anxiety in your life, right? It's like, what's that one single thing, okay? And so then the third part here, so the first is control the energy and focus. That's what you are as a marketer. You're controlling energy and focus. Number two is you gotta get them to believe one core single thing. And then number three, you guys ready for number three? If you wanna know what number three is, comment hashtag three down below. And uh, if you, I wanna make sure you guys are following this. So if this makes sense, just comment hashtag make sense down below. Hashtag make sense. Hit the like button, hit the love button. Feel free to share this out. I wanna make sure that you guys are all on the same page here with this, okay? Because it's very important. And this is something that I'm doing right now. Like we're in the middle of a massive launch right now with one of my clients. We're gonna try to do like a half a million bucks over the course of like a week or two. And like this, like this is what we're doing. Like this is what we're focusing on. It's what I did for Catherine Jones. It's what I've done for myself, the Axe Brothers and so many other people as well, okay? So number three, the third thing is, okay, so if I know I control the energy and I know that my goal is to put energy around one specific thing that I try to get them to believe, how do I make them believe that one thing? And that is, is through the story that you tell, okay? So everything around this belief 
Now I have to create a story that I am going to use to meet the person where they're at and to lead them on this journey to make them believe this thing that I'm trying to get them to believe, right? So if I go through and I'm like, okay, look, I'm going to use myself as an example. I'm going to go back to my June launch. We did 150,000 bucks over the course of, you know, uh, of like a year. I mean, I'm sorry, over the course of a week. I was like, okay, what's the story that I'm telling them? The story that I'm saying is, for me, I got to meet them where I'm at. So I went through and I said, hey, listen, guys, um, at one point in my life, I had millions of followers on social media that I was managing, right? And I went through and, I, and then I sold my company. And so I, I used to have all this traffic. I used to have all this stuff. And then I sold my company or I, I parted ways with my business partner. And then I came down to practically nothing. I had less than 2000 members in a Facebook group. I had no proven product or offer, right? And I was struggling to figure out how do I get more customers to my business? How do I, like, how do I get people to show up to my landing pages? How, you know, I've got to sell this offer. I really believe in it, but what am I, you know, how am I supposed to do it? And so I went and I, I met them where they're at. And then I tell the story and the journey of how I figured out how to get tons of people to go, how I did this one launch. I launched this very specific way. And then within like nine days, I had made $50,000 uh, from this group of only like 2000 people in my Facebook group. And so I explained to them this whole process. So what I did is I met them where I'm, the, the, where I'm at. I told them this journey that got them to show that following this one process, the thing that I'm trying to get them to believe, led me to the result that they wanted. And by telling them that story, now that's going to go create belief. And so when I'm controlling my energy, when I'm controlling my focus or the focus and the energy around this launch, I'm saying, cool, what part of this story here am I going to tell this massive audience of people? What, what can I put in front of their face through an ad, through an email that's going to interrupt their daily life and that is going to grab their attention in such a way where they go, oh, I can relate to that. And then I'm going to pull them from where their focus is now to where I want it to be using the story to put focus on their core desire and the number one thing that I want to get them to believe. Does that make sense? You guys with me? Um, if, you got, if, that, if you guys are with me, comment hashtag with you down below. Hashtag with you. And, and if you're on the podcast, like I said, shoot me a DM. Uh, hit the like button. Hit the love button here. I'm, I'm really hoping this makes sense because like, guys, they, this is the secret. And this is why I'm, I learned from Russell. He's like, hey, what's the number one thing that you got to get people to believe? And so specifically for a launch, I'm expanding on that. I'm like, okay, if Russell says, who's made hundreds of millions of dollars, if Tim Ferriss said, who's made hundreds of millions of dollars, that I've got to get them to believe one core singular thing, how do I do that? Well, I got to tell them a story in order to take them from where they're currently at to make them understand this. And when it comes to a launch, I've got to make sure that I'm controlling focus and energy because here's the thing, guys, they're like your dream customer right now is scrolling on Facebook. Where's my phone? Okay. This is my phone. I got so too many phones. Okay. Like this, I'm sitting here and every single day I'm scrolling on Facebook and I'm going, Hey, what do I have to do? Oh, I see an ad for Russell Brunson. I see an ad for Taylor Welch. And I see an ad for whoever. And I see an ad for Josh Forty. And like, it's all this Dan Henry. Right. And it's like, okay, I'm constantly getting ads every single day. I'm seeing how everybody else is winning. I'm still stuck. I've got to go and I've got to reach into them. And I'm going to be like, Hey, Hey, you, I've got this solution over here for this thing that you want. And I'm going to create so much noise and so much excitement. I'm going to say, hey, listen, rather than putting your energy and focus on scrolling, rather than putting your energy and focus on being stuck, shift it over here because I hold the key to everything that you want in life, right? Like this secret, this, this challenge, this launch, this training, whatever it is that you're doing, I do them through five-day challenges. I'm not, like, I'm not a huge, huge fan of webinars. I think that webinars, like there's not enough time that goes by to build a, an actual relationship with people. It can be done, but I use five-day challenges, right? So I go, hey, listen, I've got this five-day challenge or this five-day workshop. That is gonna be the thing that teaches you exactly what you need to get this end result. And if I can continue to create noise, I can continue to create energy flows to where everybody starts to be talking about it, to where now they're not even seeing an ad from me, but now their friends are talking about it. And now they see me on different podcasts. And now they see you know, other people talking about how excited they are about signing up for this. And now, now it's like, okay, whoa, now there's energy flowing. And now it's like a river, right? It's pulling their attention back over, always constantly back over to my challenge to where now they can't look away. And now once I get there, I'm like, okay, what's the story that I'm gonna tell them to make them believe this one thing? And then once they believe that thing, boom, it's off to the races and it's done. But what so many people try to do and what I've tried to do so many times is I try to like hit so many different angles and I'm like, do you have this problem or this problem or this problem? We have this solution or this solution or this. It's like, no, what's the one thing? What's the very one thing that I've got to get them to believe? If I can get them, make them believe that one thing, I can control the energy. I tell them a story to make them believe that it's lights out and they're going to buy it from me absolutely every single time. And I know this to be true because 
I've done it. Catherine, oh, I did it for Catherine. I did it for cash flow. Like it works and it works and it works. So anyway, was this helpful? If this was helpful, uh, just comment below. Let me know if this was helpful down below. I'd love to know your feedback on it. But I'm just, I'm trying to go through here and share with you guys like what I'm learning because like this is very, very powerful stuff. And this is how we, we do, you know, people ask me a lot when I, I sit down with them and like I'm going to Funnel Hacking Live, for example, which by the way, if you're not going to Funnel Hacking Live, everybody should go to Funnel Hacking Live. I've got my ClickFunnels hat on right now. Shout out to them. But like when I'm at, you know, Funnel Hacking Live or when I'm at Steve's event, when I'm out and about talking to people, they're like, Josh, like, how do you do these launches? How do you get so many people to show up? How do you get so, like, guys, I grew, before I ever started doing paid advertising of any sort, I grew over 5 million followers on social media. 5 million. And people are like, how do you do that? How do you get so many people to show up to these events? The first webinar I ever did, we had over 1,000 registrants. When Catherine did hers, we had like 3,000 registrants, right? We're, we just started promoting yesterday um, for uh, the client that I'm working on right now, and we have like over 500 people registered in like two days, right? Like, how are we doing that? It's because I understand that I'm not just presenting them a message. I'm controlling energy, I'm controlling focus, I'm controlling where they're looking, I'm controlling how they're thinking, and I'm constantly pulling all their attention and energy around one specific thing that I'm going to get them believe will get them their uh, outcome that they want. Make sense? All right, guys, that's all I've got. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, if you guys want more tips and, and uh, stuff uh, about this type of stuff, make sure to subscribe to the podcast, Think Different Theory, and make sure to get on my email list, thinkdifferenttheory.com slash playbook. We'll give you the MindShift playbook 100% completely for free. You can get on my email list and get all the updates there, thinkdifferenttheory.com slash playbook. Uh, hopefully this was helpful um, and uh, provide a little bit of feedback on uh, how to make 100,000 bucks in a week during a launch. Uh, we've done it several times, so I know that I know that I know that it works. And um, yeah, like that's the secret. Number one, make sure you understand you're controlling energy and focus. Number two, you gotta get, make them believe one specific thing that's gonna get them an outcome. And then number three, tell them a story to make them believe that and use that story congruently from the time you start promoting all the way through the launch. Like it's the same story from start to finish. You're just different, telling different variations or different spots in that story to create belief all the way through. All right? All right, guys, that's all I got. As always, hustle, hustle, God bless. Do not be afraid to think different because those of us that think different are gonna be the ones that change the world. I love you all and I will see you on the next episode. Uh, take it easy, fam. Peace. <laughs>